Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, something called as uh, the ID and the class attribute of a tag in HTML file. As you might be aware, HTML file has this kind of structure, uh, mainly the HTML uh, document is enclosed inside HTML and the slash HTML tags and then it has two parts called as the head and the body uh, both indicated by the head tag and completed by the slash head and body uh, indicated by this body tag and ended by the slash body tag so what is an ID and what is a class you might have seen it at many locations in your HTML document but probably you are a little confused about that so let us dive right into it and try to find out what a ID and a class is so let us say I have a paragraph element in my uh, HTML document denoted by P and the slash P and I will add some text to it for example this is a paragraph when I save this file and I run it in the browser, I will see that this is just a plain text with the default styling applied by the browser, which makes it essentially a very plain kind of a thing and no style, nothing has been added to this. What if I want to add style to it? For example, I want to make it uh, appear in a red color. So in that case, I would just do things like this I'd go to the head section and I would add a tag called as style and my editor automatically adds a slash style but if you are not using uh, this editor or if you're using a notepad or something else then you will have to close this uh, style tag with a slash style tag so in this uh, style tag I'll add a CSS code something like uh, P since this is a P tag and it would be an open curly brace and a closed curly brace automatically added. Uh, so I would uh, add something like color and I would give it a value red. When I save this and I run it uh, in the browser, I would see that the color of this uh, text has been changed to the red. So this is a very handy thing and easy to do. Uh, let's just now move to actual idea of uh, why an ID or class is needed. So let us say if I have another paragraph and I would add another paragraph text in here. Just format it a little bit. And I would check it in, back in the browser. As you can see, I have now uh, two paragraphs. One is this one and another one is this one. What if I want to give this paragraph a red color and this paragraph a blue color? It won't be possible with this code because uh, this essentially gives both paragraphs the color red. So I have to take this out. Instead, I would add something like a tag here call as class uh, basically it is a uh, attribute and the syntax is uh, it has a equal to mark after the class uh, word and then uh, two double quotes and inside that I can give any arbitrary name such as red paragraph you can give any name that you like and it won't make much of a difference and here I would give class equal to blue paragraph so what I have now done is that I have differentiated these paragraphs at least from the style sheet perspective if I go to the style and I take this red paragraph I just copy it and place a dot before it a dot indicates that it is a class and should be treated like a class and I would just paste red paragraph here and open curly brace inside that I would write color as red similarly for the blue paragraph I would do the same thing uh, 
okay so let us see what effect it uh, should have essentially it uh, this paragraph should get the red color and this paragraph should get the blue color let us see if it happens the same way so as you can see yes uh, what we had done is now perfectly reflecting in here uh, this is in red color and this is in the blue color so this is the first uh, way the easiest way of using a class basically you can have uh, multiple classes uh, for each HTML tag for example you want to <clears throat> make it red uh, as well as italicized or you want to add uh, you want to make this appear as bold so we would add another class to this whole class thing you do it, it's very simple just add a space after this and uh, type in any other class name for example make it bold okay and add this class here dot make it bold so to make it bold we will add this css we'll add dot and we'll add it uh, make it bold class that we had uh, put here and we start a curly brace and close it and then we have a font weight property which is to be made bold so when we give font weight as the bold property uh, it will make this whole paragraph as bold while well, this paragraph will not become bold so let us save this and check it out so as you can see this has changed a little bit more bolder as you can see i hope you can see the difference okay that's the point of uh, putting the class the important difference between so now let us look at what an id is basically id is not very much different from the class the only difference is that uh, the id uh, is unique and it uh, it gives a special meaning to the whole uh, term that if you have an id attached to any of the html tag the html tag becomes a unique uh, tag and often you would need in javascript some kind of unique tag so that can be easily found out by using an id tag so basically if you want to add an id to paragraph let us say uh, a paragraph open tag and id and let us give it an id unique one just any name now to give this uh, some kind of css value we have to use a hash not a dot if you remember in class we used dot here we have to use a hash so hash unique one and let us give it a background color of green let's see what happens so as you can see the background color has been converted to green but there's essentially no difference in terms of how you write css for an id or for a class the only thing is that id makes this whole paragraph unique so if you want to use javascript to manipulate this or any other use you know which exactly which uh, id uh, which uh, element to pick up for example if you instead want to use a class then you would you might have a case where you have another class with the same name and more than one elements are picked so if you have something like this then if i choose something with a red paragraph this uh, you can see that these are not unique elements and both of them would be picked but with the id only one unique element would be selected so essentially if you want to keep your document error free and want to pass the validations from the w3 site it's a good idea to have only one id and if you want to further give more properties to this uh, you don't have to declare another id you can just add class here and add anything that you want so for example make it bold same thing as uh, we have done for this 
and now it should be uh, with the background color is green and the text should be bold let us see whether it happens like that as you can see yes this is in bold so basically you can mix and match whole stuff just make sure that uh, the ID is unique and uh, your uh, individual classes are structured in such a way that they have different kind of functions and you can add as many classes as you want just by uh, putting them in a double quote and then giving the a space in between and I hope that's it thank you very much thanks for watching and if you like the video please share it with your friends thank you